Welcome to my dollhouse. We are Kaylee. Okay, okay. We are gonna do a little change and chat. This is one of my favorite t-shirts that Kaylee has. That is the shirt. Not too long ago when I was thrifting, I found a purple sweater. Perfect match, perfect match. This is so spring, so eastery. I cannot wait for March. I think at the end of February, I'm gonna start decorating for Easter. I absolutely have been feeling Easter really, really hard. And this year, I'm gonna decorate to the nines and I'm going to prepare a feast and you know what? I might just get really into the Easter spirit and watch The Passion of the Christ, even though I've already seen it. I think this is a, a, the perfect Easter outfit. And wait till you see the pants. Corduroys. You know, different shades of purple. Everything, it's, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, it's color coordination. It satisfies my eye. What's the tea? Spill the tea. I was gonna talk about, what do I start with? Let's start with the provocative subject of Okay, okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna talk about I guess I'll just start with, I want to talk about, should we be using baby products on our dolls? I did a little research and there was, there was a formula shortage because of some company, you know, I forget the details. We're going straight to the, to the center of disease control. Due to supply chain issues and the recent recall of several infant formula products, infant formula shortages have been reported. Blah, 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 blah. So there's still a shortage going on, apparently. And I'm always late to the game. I'm always late to the, to the tea table. I'm always late for the drama. And that's because I don't follow Reborn channels. I don't. I don't watch them. So I watch maybe a handful of my dolly friends and that's it. Here's what I think. And it's gonna come across as me being a total bitch. Okay. If you... Okay. I don't have human children. My children have always had paws. So here, let me, you know what, let me go at it from this angle. I, okay, say there was a cat food shortage of canned food. And this actually did occur a year or two ago. There was warehouse issues, traveling issues, whatever the case was. It was really hard to find canned cat food. And I have a senior cat, and he's, he's going to be 16 in August. He needs his canned food. He eats about every, on a good day, on a good day or a bad day. I mean, he goes through canned food like this. He's an old man. He, he's probably got the, the renal failure going on. It happens. There's nothing, don't concern yourself with it. I'm... I'm on top of things. My point is, is that he really needs his canned food. Let's say that there was a community of people that instead of dolls, they were taxiderming their deceased pets, still buying cat litter, still buying cat food, and just going through those emotions to cope with the loss and the grief. It doesn't have to be taxidermied deceased pets. It could be stuffed animals that look like their deceased pets. Would I hold them accountable for the shortage of cat food? No. Would I hold grudge against them for purchasing essential items that they did no longer need? No, I wouldn't. I just think that when you decide to have children, have animals, 
And I know it doesn't always work out this way, but you should always be prepared for anything. So do I think people who don't need to buy formula shouldn't be buying it? I don't, I, it's none of my business at the end of the day. If people have money and they want to purchase something, whether or not they need it, it's none of your, it's none of your business. You can't stop someone from buying something if they want, if they have the money. Like, how far do you want to take it? Baby clothes, baby toys, baby gear, baby furniture, baby monitors. Oh, I'm looking around my room, mobiles. Diaper bags. I mean, how far do you want to take it? Don't, mm -mm, don't, don't say it. Don't say, well, well, that's totally different because they need to eat, and that's the, no. Don't. I don't want to hear it. I don't. You can feed your baby. You know, there's, there's, there's options. There's options. That's that's all I'm gonna say. I've read about it. Is it selfish to think that way? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, I didn't tell you to get pregnant and have a baby. You gotta prepare. You gotta prepare for shit. You got to prepare for shit. Okay. That is the end of this chat. But now I have to change Kaylee. I should have been changing her while I was chatting, but I wasn't. She's right there behind me. Here is what Kaylee is wearing currently. All right, let's get you changed, Kaylee Marie. Hey, Big Joe. Kaylee is all changed, looking stunning. I have to be honest, I'm probably gonna keep her in this outfit until Easter. I love this outfit, it is gorgeous.